Welcome. In our previous demonstration, we successfully launched the Tanzu Kubernetes Grid UI installer. In this particular demonstration, we want to start going through the process of deploying a TKG management cluster onto vSphere infrastructure. So we're going to select this option of deploy from our TKG UI. And we're going to focus on the IAS provider section in this particular demonstration. Now, it should be pretty straightforward, the first few uh, fields that need to be populated. vCenter server uh, is pretty straightforward. You just give it a fully qualified domain name or IP address of a vCenter server that you wish to deploy your TKG management cluster nodes onto. Uh, of course, they will be deployed as a set of VMs and then give an administrator or a username. In my case, it'll be the SSO administrator like so, any valid password. Now, what you will notice is when you connect, you have the option of doing, after selecting the thumbprint, you have the option of doing configuring vSphere with Tanzu or a TKG management cluster. I will be doing the latter. I want to deploy a TKG management cluster. So I will select that. And what you'll see is that the button has now changed to connected. Data center then is pretty straightforward. This is just the data center in your inventory of that vCenter server. Uh, I only have one data center, so that's the only one that's available here. And then we come to SSH public key. Now, this is important because this is the key that is used to secure communication to all of the TKG nodes that are rolled out as part of this cluster. And what it means is that the host or the, um, the node, which has this public key, that is the node that you will be able to securely SSH from to gain access to each of the nodes in the cluster. So when it comes to things like maybe troubleshooting and that kind of thing, it's very important that you track which public key you're using so you know which desktop, which workstation that you can securely access the Kubernetes nodes from uh, once the cluster is deployed. I am running everything from this workstation, from this particular node, it's called Tanzu Demo. And the public key normally resides in your .ssh folder under $home. So as you can see, I don't have anything in the .ssh. So what I'm going to use is a command that will create a public-private key pair for me. And then I will use that key, the public key, to populate the vSphere UI. And that command is SSH key gen, and I'm going to build public private key of type RSA, this is size, and you need to provide an email address here as well. So this generates the public private key RSA pair, and you can see here the folder in which it's placing it is .ssh and id underscore rsa. I'm not going to do any passphrases for this particular one. And now it should have built in my SSH directory. I now see two files, the private and public key. So now if I cat the public key, if I cat it from the correct folder, I can now copy that and I can go back to my UI, paste in the public key, and we're good to move on to the next section. So that means that from this node, I should be able to successfully SSH into any of the TKG Kubernetes nodes that are created as part of the cluster. And that completes this part of the demonstration where we populate the IAS provider.